The sea crawls from the shore, leaving bare the despicable weed, a corpse's hair, in me the desolate withdrawing sea. The old woman of Biara am I, who once was beautiful, now all I know is how to die, I'll do it well. Look at my skin stretched tight on the bone, where kings have pressed their lips, the pain, the pain. I don't hate the men who swore the truth was in their lies, one thing alone I hate, women's eyes. The young sun gives its youth to everyone, touching everything with gold, in me, the cold. The cold, yet still a need, burns there. Women love only money now, but when I loved, I love young men. Young men whose horses galloped on many an open plain, beating lightning from the ground. I loved such men. And still the sea rears and plunges into me, shoving, rolling through my head, images of the drifting dead. A soldier cries pitifully about his plight. A king fades into the shivering night. Does not every season prove that an acorn hits the ground? Have I not known enough of love to know it's lost as soon as found? I drank my fill of wine with kings, their eyes fixed on my hair. Now among the stinking hags I chew the cud of prayer. Time was the sea brought kings as slaves to me. Now I hear the face of God and the crab crawls through my blood. I love the wine that thrilled me to my fingertips, now the mean wind stitches salt into my lips. The coward sea slouches away from me, fear brings back the tide that made me stretch at the side of him who take me briefly to be his bride. The sea grows smaller now, farther, farther it goes, leaving me there where the foam dries on the deserted land dry as my shrunken thighs, as the tongue that presses my lips, as the veins that break through my hands. Welcome my lovelies to day two of Vlogoween. The poem we just heard there was The Old Woman of Biara. It's a 10th century Irish Gaelic poem and it was translated by Brendan Kelly and it goes perfectly with today's mythical being which is the Kaliak. So I've got my peppermint tea. And we're ready to get going. Known as the goddess of winter, a divine hag and a creator deity, the mother of all Scottish gods and all Irish clans, her legend is so old that it predates even the Celts, and she is only to be found in a Manx, Irish and Scottish mythology. Um, this makes this lovely lady well over 7,000 years old, and that means that there is 7,000 years of history, tales and stories, myths and legends on her to unwind. So in the short time we have here, I'm going to attempt to shed a little bit of light on the Kaliak, but it is only going to be a teeny tiny bit because <laughs> it would take a lifetime to probably make any sense of it. Okay, as this subject is steeped in so much history and it's a bit like an onion with lots and lots of layers, I'm going to start with the entomology of the word Kaliak and I'm hoping that from there we'll start to get a clearer picture of what is going on. Kaliak is a Gaelic word that basically means old woman hag or crone and is derived from old Gaelic Kaliak, which means the veiled one or nun. Over the years, she's come to represent creation, abundance and the divine female form. Now, there are a lot of words in this that are Gaelic and I'm going to butcher the pronunciations. So, as we can see, I don't even have a clear grasp of English. So when I think of old hags and crones, I immediately start to think of like the witch from Snow White, you know, the evil queen. Um, but what we learn from the Kaliak is that she's neither good nor bad. She's just is. It's what she is. And she exists with very human emotions. Um, so it's nice to see that like a goddess can be someone who is not beautiful and who isn't either inherently good or inherently evil it's quite a refreshing sight to think and that's like over 7,000 years old what went wrong oh wait poets and writers have given her many names over the years so the word Kaliak is tied to so many myths legends and stories that scholars now believe that Kaliak is more of a title than a name so any old woman can be called a Kaliak However, for the purposes of the short time that we have together this evening, I am going to focus on the Kaliak Bihara, the master of winter, the storm hag and the old hag of Biara. I am the hag of Biara, an ever new smock I used to wear to 
Today, such is my mean estate, I wear not even a cast of smock. The maidens rejoice when May Day comes to them. For me, sorrow is meter. I am wretched, I am an old hag. Amen, woe is me, every acorn has to drop after feasting by shining candles to be in gloom of prayer. I had my day with kings, drinking mead and wine. Today I drink way water among shriveled old hags. That is the Lament of the Hag of Viara, a medieval poem translated by Lady Augusta Gregory. Kaliak is described as a veiled old woman, sometimes with only one eye. Her skin is either deathly pale or a blue colour with red teeth, often seen adorned in skulls. She could leap across mountains and ride storms. She was a shapeshifter capable of turning into a giant bird. She is ageless and immortal. The goddess of the cold and the winds, sometimes known as the Veiled One or the Queen of Winter, the Kaliak determined the winter's length and its harshness. She is the creator of mountains and hills, and whether she created them accidentally while she was striding across the land and dropped rocks from her creel, or intentionally to serve as her stepping stones, she carries a hammer for shaping the hills and valleys. Just like I'm literally like I'm already in love. She just She's a seasonal deity, which means she rules only in the winter months between Samhain and Beltane. She herds deer, her staff freezes the ground, she fights spring, she causes great storms and tries desperately to clutch onto the winter, making it as long as possible and to extend her reign. It is said that if it is sunny on the 1st of February or La Fille de Brigde, I think that's how you say it, probably not. She has succeeded in her quest to collect more firewood and to extend the winter and it will be cold and miserable for the rest of the spring. Eventually though the power is handed over to the summer deity Brigda and her reign ends until Samhain. Some say she sleeps, others say she turns into stone and others say she is the summer goddess. They are one in the same and she undergoes a painful transformation back to beauty and youth. In Scotland, the Kaliakin are also known as the Storm Hags and are seen as personifications of elemental powers of nature, especially in a destructive aspect. They are said to be particularly active in raising windstorms during the spring, during a period known as a Kaliak. And it is said that these hags are watched over by the mother hag, the Kaliak herself, from her home at the top of Ben Nevis, where she can see all that is going on. And there are so many stories surrounding the Kaliak at the top of Ben Nevis and what she does to her Kaliak and when they don't do what they're supposed to but that's like a whole separate video. <laughs> as part of her role as the master of winter she's also the goddess of the grain harvest and as a way to please their goddess the first farmer to finish the grain harvest made a corn dolly representing a Kaliak from the last sheaf of crop. The figure would then be tossed into the neighbouring farm who had not finished bringing in their grain. The last farmer to finish had the responsibility to take care of the dolly for the next year with the implication that they had to feed the hag all winter and if they didn't the crop wouldn't survive. Another tradition that has survived throughout the centuries is the T. Nan Kaliak. The story goes that the Kaliak and the Bodak and their children appeared to the people of Glen Leon and Glen Kaliak seeking shelter. Despite their fearsome reputations, the family was granted shelter and during the period, the surrounding glens became incredibly fertile. Before departing the area, the Kaliak gave the people a parting gift. The area would be eternally fertile, provided that they put up stones for her family from Beltane to Samhain. Each year, this tradition is repeated and the stones are put up to ensure a good harvest. And she returns in the winter. So that pretty much concludes our whistle stop tour of the legend of the Kaliak. I personally have fallen in love with her from all the research that I've done and I like totally encourage you to do the same because she's just it's just so amazing. It's like Irish, Scottish, Manx mythology and it's just beautiful and you can kind of like really get an appreciation for women in mythology and women as creators and how they don't have to all be beautiful like Greek goddesses. Due to only being allowed to go out in my county for Vlogoween, um, the schedule has somewhat changed because all of the places I was planning to visit for you 
I'm now not allowed to go to. So um, if you would like to let me know what you want to see from me in the comments, I'm kind of restricted here. So, you know, videos that can be done in my teeny tiny home would be great. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. Also, what you think of the Kaliak and, um, you know, like, subscribe, comment to check out yesterday's video. Do all the things and I can't wait to see you all tomorrow with another story. All right, bye.